Hello everyone, Nikita here. In this presentation, I am going to discuss Zapp Klingman reaction. This reaction was discovered by Robert Zapp and Felix Klingman. They have used the diazonium salt and beta keto acids or beta keto esters to form the hydrazones. So, here we can see the aryl diazonium salts are reacting with the beta keto ester. Here we can use the beta keto acids also in presence of basic media they will form the hydrazone and acetic acid will be eliminated so this reaction is useful to synthesize the hydrazone which are further used to synthesize the complex organic molecule like natural products now coming to the mechanism here we have taken the beta keto ester why beta keto ester because in with respect to ester the carbonyl group or keto group is present with at beta position this is the alpha position and this is the beta position so beta keto ester when treated with the alkali media it will convert into carbonyl because this hydrogen is as a activated methylene group so this hydrogen will release in presence of base so here carbonyl will form this carbonyl get stabilized by the resonance with the pi bond of the carbonyl group so here enolate will form these enolate are react with the diazonium salt so because this carbon is nucleophilic so this will attack on this nitrogen and here the bond migration will takes place so this azo intermediate will form now because base is present so this base will give the nucleophilic addition reaction on the carbonyl carbon so here O negative will form and OH will be present on this carbon in the next step this oxygen will form the pi bond with the uh, with the carbon and this bond will break between C and N so here the acetic acid will release and there this adduct will form now this can be protonated by the water or it can re it can react with the acetic acid itself so it will take up the hydrogen so this carbon has a negative charge it will shift its uh, it sh shift its electron pairs towards the nitrogen and this nitrogen will take up this hydrogen so we will get the will get the compound that is aryl hydrosomes and here OH negative will release by this water molecule. Now if we are treating some active methylene compound which have the beta keto ester and there this active methylene compound has no substitution that means there's two protons are present. In this condition, when they are treated with base, they will form the carbonyl, which is stabilized by the enolate. Now, these enolate will react with the diazonium salt and will form this azo intermediate. In this case, when there is no substitution is present or one hydrogen is present, so there the prototropic shift will take place. So, by the tautomerization, we will get the aryl hydrogens of beta keto ester. In these cases, there will be no elimination of acetic acid will take place. Now we will look towards one more example. Here we have taken this molecule which is which is having an aniline moiety and this is a substitute we can treat it as an R group. When we treat this molecule with the diazotization mixture that is sodium nitride with hydrochloric acid. So this will convert into the aryl diazonium salt. So this NH2 will convert into the N2 positive and Cl negative that is diazonium compound. Now this diazonium compound when reacts with the beta keto esters. So firstly beta keto ester will convert into enolate then they will attack on the diazonium compound and subsequently we will get this hydrazone where this acetic acid will be eliminated and this carbon will form the bond with this nitrogen. So we will get this product and this group remains as it is safe. That Klingman reaction is used to synthesize the phenyl hydrazones. These phenyl hydrazones can further treat it with the sulfuric acid and they can convert into the cyclic compounds like indole. So they are also useful to synthesize the indole reaction. This is also known as Jack Klingman followed by the indole Fischer indole synthesis reaction. Here we can see this is the beta keto ester which is treated with the phenyl diazonium salt and that it will convert into the hydrazone derivative now this hydrazone derivative is treated with the sulfuric acid then this will convert into the indole, indole derivative 
Now we will see the mechanism. As first step is the Zettlingmann reaction. This is a beta keto ester which is reacting with the base. So it will convert into enolate. In the next step, this will go towards the diazonium salt. So here the bond will form. And we'll get the this enolate will react with this diazonium salt. So here we'll get this added. Next step, this OH negative will attack on this carbonyl carbon, and here we'll get this O negative, which is in the next step, which is protonated, and we'll get the acid. So here, so we'll get the acid. Now, what happens? This ring bond break how the ring see when OH negative when this OH negative will attack on this carbonyl carbon this will goes here and in the next step when this O negative will come and this bond will break. So here we'll get the carb anion. Now in the next step there the intramolecular acid base reaction will take place. So this hydro this acidic proton will shift towards this towards this nitrogen sorry this bond will takes up by this hydrogen so here we'll get this phenyl hydrozone derivative now in the this next step phenyl hydrozone will be treated with the sulfuric acid so this H plus will goes to this acidic proton so here we'll get this complex where the acid this acetate is converted into the acid now in the Next step when proton will attack, this will go to the nitrogen. So here we'll get the imenium complex. Now in the next step, H plus ion will release and it will form this double bond. It will take up its electron. So here we'll get the positive charge. So this will, hydrogen will release and we'll get the double bond here. The next step when the high proton in presence of proton, it will attack again this, on this nitrogen. So we'll get the NH2 positive ion. And Further, the rearrangement of the bonds will take place. So, the phenyl ring will take participate and in the ring cyclization will take place. So, here we will get this type of ring cyclization. So, the, this phenyl carbon will use to form the bond with this carbon and this carbon. So, here the nitrogen nitrogen bond will break and we will get this structure. In the next step, this hydrogen will remove from the from the benzene uh, from the ring to get the benzene aromaticity back in the next step this nitrogen has a lone pair of the amines nitrogen has a lone pair here that will attack on this c double bond nh2 positive carbon so here this will takes up the bond and is this will convert into the nh2 so here rings closer step will takes place and we'll get this ring the next step from here ammonia will be eliminated and h plus ion will be released so we'll get the indole derivatives so by the zap klingman reaction we can synthesize the phenyl hydrozone and which, which can further utilized for the to synthesize the indole rings thank you